Hello friends, today we are going to make a beautiful violet vinegar. We're going to forge some violets and I'm going to take you along with me and show you how to do this. This is such an easy, fun project to do in the spring when you start to see the violets popping up in your yard and your kids will love to help with this too. The most important thing when you're foraging is to make sure you identify the blooms correctly and you can use online guides or books to help you with this and also to make sure you're getting flowers from a pesticide-free environment, make sure that they're in a clean area. Gathering the violets was really relaxing for me. I love to just put on some meditative music and feel the sun and the wind. And my favorite artist is Inya, and she actually has a song called Wild Violets, and I can't pronounce the actual name, but I will put it on here so you guys can look it up. It's a beautiful song. So yeah, just get out and enjoy. You'll get lots of squats in while you're foraging for your violets. Wanted to add here that there are both purple and white varieties of violets, and you want to gather mostly the purple ones for this project because it's gonna give your vinegar the beautiful purple color. Now you're gonna remove most of the stems and give your violets a good wash to get rid of any dirt, pat them dry, and then you're gonna fill your jar about halfway with your violets. This recipe is basically a one to two ratio. So one part violets, two parts vinegar. You can use any type of vinegar that you like. Today I'm using apple cider vinegar. Now you're gonna pour over your vinegar until you've got the jar pretty much full and you're gonna cover it with a lid. You can preferably use a plastic lid, but if you, all you have is a metal lid, make sure to put a little bit of parchment paper at the top because you don't want the metal to react with the vinegar. Then you're gonna store this violet vinegar in a cool, dark place for one to two weeks and let it infuse and you'll notice all of the beautiful purple color will leach into the vinegar and then you'll be ready to strain it and use it. This is perfect to use in a salad dressing and I've got the full written recipe over on my blog. There's other ways to use it as well. So click the link and you'll learn all about how to make this.